you think about movements that you've already learned in the video, a full scorpion is like an underswitch that travels up to a scorpion reach, but there a couple of things have to happen before it pulls over and finishes the full scorpion. So if I asked Kathy to perform a right leg full scorpion, it would begin like an underswitch that travels up to a big scorpion reach. And as you guys know, in scorpion reach, her knee is going to be slightly flexed, her heel off of the ground and rotated outward. Before she can pull over and finish her full scorpion, she has to extend this knee. That does not mean drop the heel, it means get even higher. Once she extends this knee, it does not flex again, it stays completely straight through the entire movement. She'll allow the weight of her leg to pull her over, keeping this leg straight, peeling that bottom arm off of the ground. Then she drops the heel, drops the hips, drops the hand. Keep in mind, this is a modified crab position, which we find at the end of a full scorpion. It's not a side kick through. So her toes are not going to be pointed, they're actually going to be up towards the ceiling because if you'll recall, we went from the balls of the feet, outer ridge, to the heel. So toes are going to be up, ankles in a neutral position, also her hands in guarded position, she's not pulling open her sling. So from here we can reset her crab, do it one more time. So let's go left leg full scorpion, she drives out and up, head down, she extends the base leg, peeling the upper arm off of the ground. If she releases the upper arm too quickly, she'll drop down. This allows her to counter and decelerate. Once she gets down to the bottom, I can ask her again to reset her crab. That's our full scorpion.